All right, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you, Pook, with a mic test video. Now, I've been getting a lot of questions from people online asking not only about what mics do I use, but also, like, what mic is the best, quote-unquote. And to be honest, like, each mic has its own different uses, and it all depends on, like, what your definition of best is. Now, best quality, best value, uh, it varies. So... Um, here are the three mics that I have. I have the Zoom H1, Zoom H2N, and lastly, my newest mic, the Rode VideoMic Me, although it's surrounded by the big puff on top, so you can't really see a whole lot of the mic, but that's okay. Uh, let's start off with the oldest one that I have, the Zoom H1. Now, I got this back in, I believe it was 2012, 2011-ish, somewhere around that time. It's the oldest mic I have, and it's been invaluable to me as far as just various uses. I originally got it to record concerts just because I could control the gain on it and I wouldn't have to worry about distorted audio and stuff like that. So that was the original reason I got it. And it's actually, a lot of these Zoom products are actually like geared towards live music recordings. So this actually worked out pretty good for me. And at the time it was about $100 USD. And uh, I think now you can get them off of eBay for like a lot less than that, maybe like 50, 60 bucks, depending. Pretty good value for the money, especially if you're looking for a mic to start off with. And uh, it also works as a USB mic as well. So you just plug it into your computer and you can talk over Skype or talk with a better webcam audio than what your uh, current setup has. And now let's move on to the Zoom H2N, which is the mic that I use for like the majority of my videos. So this is uh, the upgraded version of the H1. It has a lot more options. You can add different uh, levels of compression and EQ and all that kind of stuff with this. And it's just an overall better sounding mic because mostly because of the diaphragms in here. They're larger in size, they're higher quality. You can control different uh, directional things. It, it just gives you more options. So that's the reason that I use this one the most of all. And finally, we got this little guy, the Rode VideoMic Me. And I got this for my cell phone, which is what I'm recording on right now. And I got this just to improve the quality of my cell phone videos, just to have a little something something around with me. So if I decide, you know, to record something and I don't have my rig or anything like that nearby, at least I got a little, little puff ball to help me out. So this mic has been serving me well recently. And uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to do a little video test. Now the caveat to this test is that I'm going to be recording on the Zoom H1 and the H2 through their built-in recording stuff. I'm not gonna add any EQ or filter or any of that kind of stuff to any of the zooms, so it's a very clear, raw sound. With the Rode video mic, I have to plug it into my cell phone because that's really the only way that I have to power it. I tried recording a video earlier with a different setup. Didn't quite turn out so well with this guy, so I had to you know, change plans. But hey, what you gonna do, right? So, first up, we're gonna go with the Zoom H1 and hear how that sounds. And uh, before we get into that, just wanna let you guys know, if you didn't know already, I'm recording just on my cell phone's onboard mics. Now so. we're gonna switch to the Zoom H1, and I hope you guys can uh, hear the difference. So, see you in the next bit. All right, and now you're listening to me on the Zoom H1. I have the mic propped up a little bit, so that way the actual capsules are facing me rather than just like facing down because it's not an upright mic like this is, the Zoom H2N. So I had to kind of compensate for that, but it is about a foot away from me or so. The mic gain is about halfway up, and the only thing I'm going to be doing in between the different mic setups is just boosting the volume so that way they're all even like volume-wise, but I'm not going to be adding any EQ, compression, or any of that other stuff. I'm just going to be boosting the volume so that way they're even, and that's it. And that's way you can uh, make the decision for yourself to see which mic is the best for you because that's what it's all about what mic fits your needs so for me the zoom h1 was my first mic like i said bought it about 2011 2012 uh, at the time it was about a hundred dollars but i think you can get them for a lot cheaper now just look on ebay or yahoo auctions or wherever you buy your stuff at and you can buy it for a lot less and uh, you can also hook it up to your computer for like a webcam mic and uh, it makes great audio. 
I've recorded several videos for it. Uh, the original reason I got it was because I wanted to record concerts, and I think it records music very well. You just got to adjust the gain depending on how close you are to the music, how loud the artist is, stuff like that, and then you can just go into whatever audio editing program you have, whether that's Audacity or Adobe Audition or maybe something else like GarageBand or whatever whatever you Mac people use. <laughs> PC for life! Anyway, uh, you can just go in there and add your EQ compression, just tweak it, and uh, make it sound good. So there you go. And for 100 bucks and probably a lot less now, you can't really go wrong with it. So now we're going to move on to its bigger, better, blacker cousin, the Zoom H2N. So yeah, see you in the next bit. All right, so now we're recording on my staple workhorse mic, the Zoom H2N. Now, for those of you who've watched my videos, especially for the past like year or so, this is the main mic that I've been using for the majority of my videos. I use it for like webcam audio and for just about anything. It's very versatile. You can add different EQ curves within the, uh, the Zoom H2N itself. So it makes my workflow a little bit easier so I don't have to add as much and I get a cleaner overall signal when I go in to tweak it up. But for the purposes of this video, it has none of the EQ or any other filter added to it. It's just straight Zoom H2N, baby. And uh, I also got the little windsock for it, so that way it eliminates a lot of those plosive noises. So in case I'm a little too close to the mic and I make like a loud puh sound or something like that, you don't hear that weird thud. So it's definitely a good investment for you guys. I think it's the Zoom WSU-1. Just, just look up Zoom windscreen. And you can put it on, uh, it's a universal windscreen, so you can even put it on the Zoom H1 as well. Definitely good investment, especially if you're recording outside, because even the little tiniest wind gust can kind of mess with your audio a little bit. So I think it's a definitely a wise investment to get. It has different pickup patterns as well, so if you're doing like a, a sit-down interview with somebody, it's probably good to kind of widen the pickup pattern a little bit so that way you can pick them up as well. And I think I got it for like $120, $130 USD, somewhere around there. So it's only just a little bit more expensive than the Zoom H1, but it does offer a lot more value in that it has just more options better quality uh, capsules for the mic and stuff like that. And it's just, to me, you know, the best bang for your buck if you're looking for a good mic. So now we're going to be testing out the Rode VideoMic Me. So I'm going to plug this in my phone and I'm going to see you in the next bit. So now finally we have the Rode VideoMic Me, which is my latest mic. I got this plus the windscreen for just a small $70, so I think it's actually the cheapest mic that I've ever bought. And it does have a lot of advantages and some disadvantages compared to the other Zoom products. Uh, the main advantage is that it's very small, it can clip straight onto my cell phone, so I don't have to worry about cords and all that kind of stuff, or if I have enough battery life, because these run on uh, AA batteries. The Zoom H1 only runs on one, and then the Zoom H2N runs on two. So. That is a bit of an advantage and a disadvantage. One of the disadvantages with the Rode VideoMic Me is that uh, you basically have to plug it into some kind of power source. So with my phone, that's my phone is basically powering the mic. That may or may not sway some people, but for me, it's portable, it's convenient, and it sounds pretty darn good. But you do have to kind of adjust your volume a little bit uh, depending on what software you use for your phone. Like I know for iPhones and stuff like that, you can adjust the mic gain on board, which is pretty nice, but uh, Android phones are a little bit more finicky, so it's harder for me to find a good uh, recording program that allows me to adjust mic gain. So that's why I'm talking a little bit softer, so that way I don't clip the audio here, because it is a very sensitive mic, and it's very directional as well. But it is just a good quality mic and for like 70 bucks I mean come on you got that and all that other stuff and if you want something that can attach to your camera as opposed to your cell phone they have the Rode Video Micro as well which is basically the same thing but it has like a little attachment to where you can attach it to your camera and it has like a little plug and stuff like that so it just makes it more convenient if you're using a more traditional camera 
But the Rode VideoMic Me, which is what I have, is made for like cell phones, tablets, stuff like that to where it's not a whole lot of muss and fuss. You just plug it in and go. And it also has a little headphone output so that way you can kind of hear what you're sounding like to help monitor things and whatever. So that's pretty nice. And overall, I think it's a really great value. You just have to adjust the way you speak and just the environment. But if you can adjust the gain levels through whatever recording software you have for your camera, I'd say it's great bang for the buck. So yeah, now I'm using the onboard mic for my phone, the LG G4, and I'd like to hear from what you guys have to say. What mic do you think sounded the best? And what mic would you purchase if you had the money for it? So let me know in the comments down below in the boobity boops. And with that said, this is the Andy Son. Signing out for now, thanking you guys boop, for tuning in to this little mic test video and for watching my other stuff. Also want to thank you guys for liking, the thumbs, commenting, subscribing, send a few friends to the party, and hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye.